Since ancient times, humans have looked up at the night sky and gazed in wonder at the stars. Even today, we continue to learn more and more about the universe around us, making new discoveries all the time. With every astronomical discovery, we get closer to an understanding of the origins of the universe, as well as gaining new opportunities to improve the human existence for generations to come. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be discussing three recent discoveries relating to outer space. Astronomers detect signals from first stars in the universe. For the first time ever, astronomers have detected light signals from the oldest stars in the universe. The discovery of these signals is truly groundbreaking, as scientists currently know very little about the universe's early history. In fact, other than the Big Bang's afterglow, they have never detected any signal from the early universe. While scientists have been working with little knowledge of the early universe for years, what they do know is that after the Big Bang, the universe was a starless, cold place made up of radiation-covered hydrogen gas, known as the cosmic microwave background. As the history of the early universe has remained a relative mystery, radiation still exists in space today. Following this period of emptiness was a 100 million year period known as the Dark Age, where dense gas regions formed clumps that inwardly collapsed into the first stars. These enormous blue stars lit up the gas surrounding it. The hydrogen atoms began to absorb radiation from the cosmic microwave background at a typical wavelength. Because of this, scientists believe that the cosmic dawn may have left an imprint on the cosmic microwave background radiation as a dip in brightness in the spectrum that should be perceivable today. Finding this dip has been challenging, as scientists have unsuccessfully tried for more than a decade. Adding to the challenge is that scientists could not determine where in the spectrum they should be looking. It seems that a team has finally cracked the mystery using a small table-sized instrument called the EDGES, or experiment to detect global EOR signature. The antenna was placed in a remote region of Australia where there are limited human-sourced radio waves that may block the signal. The signal they found points to the origin of the cosmic dawn occurring about 180 million years after the Big Bang. A surprising characteristic of the discovered dip is that it was twice the size that scientists had predicted. This hints that the universe was colder than initially believed, as the surrounding hydrogen gas had been absorbing more radiation than scientists had previously thought. What this tells us, according to physicists, is that it is a sign of the influence of dark matter, as some believe dark matter to be the reason that the hydrogen gas was losing heat. If this theory turns out to be accurate, then this would be the first time scientists have detected the substance through something other than gravitational effects, despite dark matter making up about 85% of matter in the universe. The signals discovered have broken many previously held predictions made by scientists. And as we know so little about dark matter, these findings may help us get a little closer to the truth. LIGO proves gold and platinum come from neutron stars. Silver, gold, and platinum are some of the most sought-after substances on Earth. People use them for artwork, jewelry, architecture, and are often a symbol of opulence and beauty. Making these substances even more precious is the discovery that these elements have cosmic origins. Scientists have recently detected the collision of two neutron stars, and the images of this crash revealed the presence of an incredible number of precious substances like platinum, gold, and silver. This pair of neutron stars are thought to have merged to form a black hole, where a small piece of a neutron star was able to escape and form new elements that would be found in planets like Earth. The merger, detected by astronomers from 130 million light-years away, will quite possibly have a bigger impact on science and human understanding in many ways 
than the first gravitational waves, as put by astronomer Duncan Brown, a member of the research team. The detection was made with the help of the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory and the Virgo Interferometer, a European gravitational wave detector. What is so revolutionary about this gravitational wave event, named GW170817, is that it provides insight into how many heavy elements formed in space. For one thing, supernovas, the explosion of a giant star, are believed to create lighter elements. But scientists have been wondering for years what explains the abundance of heavy elements. After much research, scientists theorized that a collision of two neutron stars would result in two things. The creation of elements, heavier than the periodic elements of nickel and iron, and the emission of gravitational waves. It turns out that they were spot on. They saw this process in action in August 2017, when these heavy elements were formed through a process called Rapid Process or R Process. During this process, two neutrons collide into each other and release high-energy neutrons. These neutrons then collide as well and build massive atomic cores. However, these atomic cores almost immediately separate into smaller atoms. The kilonova they observed with GW170817 is thought to have produced about 100 octillion dollars worth of silver, gold and platinum. With the success of LIGO, efforts to improve the technology are underway to help reveal more secrets about gravitational waves. And according to Brown, we're only at the beginning of gravitational wave astronomy and we've been rewarded with these incredible discoveries. Astronomers found traces of a massive cosmic explosion. About 390 million light-years from Earth, in the Ephucus Cluster, astronomers have detected the most enormous explosion ever witnessed. The only explosion that comes close to this discovery was about five times smaller than what astronomers found. Not only is it the largest explosion ever recorded, but it is hundreds of thousands of times the strength of a typical galaxy cluster explosion. According to Simona Giacintusi of the Naval Research Laboratory, it is estimated that about 15 Milky Way galaxies could fit into the hole created by the explosion. It's events like these that make us realize how small the Earth is compared to other objects in our universe. The explosion, which was captured using data from NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and Europe's XMM Neutron Space Telescope, is thought to have been caused by a black hole that blasted out jets and created a large hole in the hot gas that surrounds it. Although scientists had discovered a curved edge that could be part of a wall of a cavity in the Ephucus Cluster back in 2016 and suspected an explosion as a possible cause, they did not know for sure what had created the cavity. It was not until the data from Chandra and XMM Neutron revealed the truth about what happened. The data showed that a curved edge located in the cluster surrounded an area that is rich in radio emission that was caused by the electrons speeding up almost to the speed of light due to the black hole explosion. Another interesting aspect of this discovery is that the data from Chandra only revealed a single region of radio emission, when jets from black holes are usually released in two distinct directions. Scientists believe that this unusual finding may be explained by the radio emission dissipating more rapidly on the side opposite of the detected cavity. The sheer power of what exists in space is often incomprehensible. Events like these show us how powerful the universe can be and make us wonder what is left to find. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.